In fluid mechanics, when we quantify mass flow, we multiply the density rho with the velocity and the area. There's a tiny hack there, uh, which is this perpendicular symbol that we have here, which is applied either on the velocity or on the area. And so um, comes the question, what is the sense in this and what does it mean? Well, what we want to protect against is the area and the velocity not being perpendicular one to another. Right, so. Let me give you an example of where this could happen. Uh, we could pretend this is a picture of my car parked downstairs um, from my apartment, right here. Um, and you look at this nice uh, car and you see that the exhaust pipes at the, at the tail end of the car are slanted. They are cut uh, in a way that's not perpendicular to the direction of the pipe. Why do they do this? Just because it looks nice, it doesn't bring anything. Um, and you have an intuitive feeling for that, that if you cut the pipe, you don't uh, increase the outlet area, the area of that ellipse here of the outlet. You don't necessarily increase the mass flow uh, to go with it. It just looks nicer. It doesn't make the gases go out faster. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at this in a, in a, on the diagram. Uh, what you have here is a pipe. Yeah, this pipe is cut in a slanted way so that this area A here uh, is here we have an ellipse. It's not the area of a, of a disk. Yeah? And so if you see um, this diagram here on the top, you see it here from the seen from the top, from above, then you will see there's an angle, an angle theta, between the velocity v and the cross-section area, which here we cannot represent. Yeah? Uh, when you cut the pipe and you vary this angle theta, you do not affect the fluid mechanics. It's just the look of the outlet and the quantified area A. So when we quantify the mass flow, we have to be very careful about which area exactly we're talking about and check that the velocity here, um, what the angle between the velocity and the area is. So this is how to calculate mass flow in such a case like so. You look at the top view here, and you want to quantify rho times v times a, the density times the velocity times the area. Which velocity and which area do you take to quantify v and a? Well, this is how it looks like. You can either take the area a of the outlet of the pipe, which I just represented on the side here, like so, yes. And then you have to take the component of velocity that is perpendicular to this area. And so this is the component of the original velocity here, this velocity here has a component there, v perpendicular, that is perpendicular to the area. So you have to project v on perpendicular to the area a here. You could do that. Or you could do the other way. You could keep the velocity v here, but then it is the area which you project to be perpendicular to v. And so instead of taking this ellipse here, you project this ellipse here on the plane perpendicular to v, so that now you get the area a perpendicular here. So you take either the multiple of v and a perpendicular, or the multiple of a and v perpendicular. Yeah. So now if you come back to the original equation, you see why we have density here, times v perpendicular a, or v a perpendicular. The point is, area and velocity need to be perpendicular to one another, otherwise, you get caught in the trick of just having a slanted pipe because it looks nice and believing that you have more mass flow just because uh, of the look of the pipe.